it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the Y2K particle effect in After Effects. Not gonna waste any more time, let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to start off by importing a clip we want to use. I'm using this clip of Central C here. After that you're going to be rotor brushing the clip here, so you can only see Central C here. And if you don't know how to rotor brush, I made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description. After you have rotor brushed, your layer should look something like this here. And we're going to start off by duplicating this layer by pressing Ctrl D. So we get four layers here. And we can make the top two layers invisible for a moment. And we can go to the bottom layer and delete the rotor brush effect. After that, go to the layer above. And here we're going to be adding CC ball action. And we're adding this effect to get that kind of bubble or orb kind of look you guys saw in the beginning. And we're going to set the grid spacing to 3. And we're going to set the scattering to minus 75. And we're going to keyframe it, go to the ending, set it to 0. After that, go to the beginning again. Here, set the displays to 1000. Press the clock, go to the ending, set it to zero. This is the kind of look we're getting now. After that, we're going to be adding a colorama. And we're going to go to input phase. And here, we're going to hold alt, press the clock here on phase shift. And here, we're going to type time star key 300. And this is the look we're getting now. You guys can adjust more on the uh, phase shift here if you guys want to have it more purple, more green or whatever color you guys want but uh, I'm gonna keep that this for the moment after that to make a glow we're going to be adding a deep glow set the radius to 500 and that should be good the last effect is going to be chromatic aberration and here I'm actually just going to use the default settings now we're going to change the blending mode on this layer so go here and set it to screen now we can make the rotor brush layer above visible but this doesn't look that realistic when uh, the background is super bright and uh, none of the glow is affecting him basically so we're going to fix that by going to the layer above make it visible and here we're going to be adding a deep glow and here we're going to set the radius to 750 and the exposure to 0.85. After that, you can set the blending mode on the top layer here to screen. And now we will get the Y2K particle effect here. I think it looks super cool. But of course, if you guys want to step it up even more and make it even cooler effect, we can add some effects from my TV Glitch Pack V2. Just by adding the TV Glitch Pack V2, this is the look we're getting now. I think it's super cool. I just added the TV Glitch Effect 21 to the particle layer here and the glowing rotor brush layer here. And if you guys want to check it out, don't forget to use the discount code PELLE to save $5. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial here. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website editingvisual.com to really step up your editing game. This is the kind of effects you're going to be able to make. Also, don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.